Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our morning prayer for today. It's Friday, March 26, 2021. Together with Father Mumoy, live here at the Mary Ceiling Sanctuary in Lidong, Santo Domingo, Albay, the Philippines. We're now on the uh, fifth week of Lent. Let's now start our morning prayer. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its lights upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has shielded its fruit. For God our God has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing. Till the ends of the earth revere him. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Antiphone. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Lord, who throughout these forty days for us did fast and pray, Teach us we thee to mourn our sins and close by thee to stay. As thou with Satan didst contend and didst the victory win, O oh, give us strength in thee to fight. In thee to conquer sin. Let's now go to the psalm of thee. Psalm 50 is about asking God to have mercy on us. Antiphone. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil on your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence. And be without reproach when you judge. O oh, sin, guilt, I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. 
O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. Up your heart, great for me, O God, Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I might teach transgressors your ways and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice all the costs offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Antiphon, Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Isaiah 45 tells us that the people of all nations will become disciples of the Lord. Antiphon. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Truly with you God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace who vent their anger against Him. Those go in disgrace, who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the Creator of the heavens, who is God, the Designer and Maker of the earth, who establishes, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge to bear wood and idols and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare in council together who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it not I the Lord? Besides whom there is no other God, there is no just and saving God but me. 
Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come, all who vent the anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Psalm 99 is entering the temple with joy. Antiphon. Let us go into God's presence singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him singing for joy. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Go within His gates giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal is merciful love, is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Antiphone. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. See, my servant will prosper. He shall be lifted up, exalted, rise to great heights. As the crowds were appalled on seeing him, so disfigured, did he look that he seemed no longer human? So will the crowds be astonished at him, and kings stand speechless before him, for they shall see something never told, and witness something never heard before. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, the prophet Isaiah in the Old Testament showed to us the crucifixion sin thousands of years before Jesus was born. That he was disfigured and in the eyes of the world, useless. But in the eyes of God, he was exalted. All for the sake of us. Because He loves us and He wants to redeem us. Responsory. It is He who will free me from the snare of the hunters. It is He who will free me from the snare of the hunters. And from the evil word. It is He who will free me from the snare of the hunters. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. Antiphone, I have done many good works for you to see, said the Lord. For, for which of these works do you wish to kill me? 
Blessed be the Lord, Lord God, the God of Israel. He has come God to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of the servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, all in righteousness in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from an eye shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Antiphon I have done many good works for you to see, said the Lord. For which of these works do you wish to kill me? Intercessions Thanks be to Christ the Lord, who brought us life by his death on the cross. With our whole heart, let us ask him, by your death, raise us to life. Teacher and Savior, you have shown us your fidelity and made us a new creation by your passion. Keep us from falling again into sin. By your death, raise us to life. Help us to deny ourselves today and not deny those in need. By your death, raise us to life. May we receive this day of penance as your gift and give it back to you through works of mercy. By your death, raise us to life. Master our rebellious hearts and teach us generosity. By your death, raise us to life. By your death, Lord, raise us to new life. By our suffering, by your suffering, in death. May we also see your suffering fears may be a source of faith and renewal in our lives. Most especially healing. Father Mumoy and myself will now uh, do the prayers of healing for you. Gathering now all our prayers into one that is now called out to our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Father, on this Friday of the fifth week of Lent, we thank you for your love. May the sacred heart of Jesus who continuously loves us 
and gives himself to us be our source of inspiration during this difficult time. We ask you to bless our people when the COVID virus victims are rising up. We ask you to protect our people. We also thank you for giving a new Archbishop in Manila by giving Cardinal Advincola to us. We ask you to bless him and the Archdiocese of Manila. Bless our people and bless each one of us. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And through the intercession of a blessed mother and Saint Joseph, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our morning prayer is ended. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you everyone for joining our morning prayer. Together with Father Momoy here at the Mary Ceiling Sanctuary in Lidong Santo Domingo, Albay, the Philippines. We'll see you again tomorrow at 6.30 in the morning, Manila time. God bless you, Father.